Subnautica has always been one of my favorite games ever made, and now with the power of mods, Subnautica is fully playable in VR with motion controls. The normal VR mode of this game requires either a keyboard or controller to be used which really takes away from the experience. But now you have evolved and grown hands and are capable of grabbing things and interacting with the world. It is just so cool even if I've played this game a countless number of times. And of course, this is still Subnautica with its classic survival mechanics like collecting materials, building stuff, and then doing it all over again while managing hunger, thirst, and oxygen so you don't die. All of this information is conveniently stored on your wrist like a watch, allowing it to be out of the way but also readily available. Just make sure to check on it so you don't drown. I can't make it. No, 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 no. Swim! Swim! The game's menus are also improved to fit VR, as your PDA, or inventory, is now in your left hand with your right hand pointing and clicking on what you want to use. Or for the hotbar items, selecting your tool acts exactly like it does in Half-Life Alex. You hold a button and a ring of items will pop up. You then drag your hand over the item you want and let go. Then BAM! That item is in your hands. The quick select makes it really easy to switch items while swimming so you don't waste that precious oxygen by trying to work through the inventory. It also allows you to get a full look of the tool in your hand and to use it wherever your hand is pointing, not just in the middle of the screen like the flat screen version. But sadly, swimming in this game doesn't use your hands, so you can't stop yourself from drowning without flailing your fingers around trying random buttons to hopefully find the one that brings you to the surface. Believe me, I tried swimming in real life for this game, but sadly it just doesn't work. And on top of not being able to swim, you also can't control any of the vehicles with your hands. <laughs> What am I doing? This doesn't work. Uh, uh, this doesn't do anything. But honestly, it doesn't remove the novelty of having hands, as it still feels like you are actually in the driver's seat, pointing and interacting with things happening around you. You can even like see the inside of the Seamoth, that's awesome how poorly textured it is. And of course, it is super fun to drive around and just endlessly flip in the Seamoth. Wow, this is very disorienting. It also is really fun to pilot the Cyclops and accidentally run into a big ass Reaper Leviathan. Oh, wait, did I say fun? I meant terrifying. What? No! Oh, what? What are you doing? No, 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 no. Up, 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 up. Oh my god. No! And speaking of the Cyclops, you don't realize how big this thing is on a flat screen. But in VR, oh, you get the full 69D experience considering that it is now life-size and not in your tiny monitor. That's massive! Oh my god, this is, it's big in game, but man, it's massive in VR. This is insane, this is like, we should put five billionaires on this thing. And let's not forget how amazing this game is to explore. It feels like a totally new game in VR, and the gorgeous graphics absolutely help to bring a stunning and perfect VR experience. Well, sorta perfect. This VR mod, understandably, introduces a lot of bugs and glitches. For starters, the first time I loaded my save, my character was super tall and was glitching through the roof of my base. Where what? Why am I hot? Why am I so tall? This is this is already wonderful. I just loaded in. Oh, and not being able to repair your vehicle is also a major issue. Okay, that's not working. I guess that won't work. Well, it's okay. We, we don't need to fix Steam off. It's fine. And of course, in Subnautica, you can build a shelter that has everything you need in one place. So, I built a monstrosity. This is so bad. This is one of the worst bases I've ever seen. This is a terrible base. And there's a massive titan submarine in the way. This is because the modded VR version of this game doesn't have an input to delete parts of your base. So now my base is just an absolute mess. What? How do I remove this? This is in my way. I don't know how to remove this. It has to be built this- actually this will work. This will work. No it won't. I lied. I lied. No I can't remove it. God damn it. I forgot. And at the time I was too tired to furnish the house. So it just ended up being completely empty. Besides a few aquariums that I decided to build. That's when I went outside and found a massive fish to take in as my own. You're mine. What the? Whoa! You're a very big fish! <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, meet Blubby. His new home was strategically and mathematically chosen to be perfect just for him. Eeny meeny miny mo, catch a tiger by the t Hey little guy! Hi! No no no, don't swim away! I'm gonna neglect you. We now have a pet fish that I cannot talk to. But like I said earlier, you need to get food in this game. And if you thought hunting for food was hard on the flat screen, then you are in for a treat with the VR version. It is hard to pick up fish to cook in the VR version of this game. So hard, in fact, that I took my rage out on the fish. You thought you could get away from me? Oh, is it dead now? It's dead. No, it's not. That is not dead. At least I had my vending machines and coffee machines to help me get through starvation and dehydration. I was lucky enough to be able to gorge myself in snacks and coffee. So let's ruin the gym gains by 
getting some nice vending machine snacks. I mean, man, mixed chips is looking amazing. Snack? I mean, you can't go wrong with snack or potato. It's potato. And then, of course, you have to wake up in the morning, so you want coffee. Give me coffee now. Give me it now. I want my coffee now. Okay, thank you. That's all I wanted. And honestly, Subnautica is just more fun in VR. Piloting a prawn suit has never felt so empowering. It, it's cool, right? Like, I feel like I'm a god. I feel like I am in a mech suit just going sickle mode. Goofing around as a whole is just better, especially when you are so deep under the ocean that your seamoth starts to implode. I've named this the Titan. I feel that it makes perfect sense. Oh no! My Seamoth, it's imploding! I have to say that Subnautica is probably one of the best survival games to date, and being able to play it in full VR has only rekindled my love for this game, and will probably have me spend another 50 hours in its world. Now I'm off to go train my new pet Blubby. If I don't make a new video next week, then I probably drown trying.